Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I have some Dollar Tree Valentine's DIYs for you. If you're new here and you like home decor and DIYs on a budget, stick around by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell for notifications so you never miss out on a new video. All right, now let's get into all these DIYs. For this DIY, I'm gonna use a set of these three hanging hearts from Dollar Tree with the tinsel on them. Now, I don't want the tinsel, so I'm going to remove that. And I thought I had to cut it out, but luckily I don't. It's just wrapped around there. So all you have to do is find the loose piece and then just start unraveling it and uh, take all of the tinsel off all three of the hearts. This didn't take long at all, it took about maybe five minutes to get all of the tinsel off. And then now I'm gonna take some roses from Dollar Tree. I have three different colors and I have three bunches of each color of roses. And then I just used some hot glue and just followed the shape of the heart and hot glued the roses down to each one of the hearts. And then I realized after I did the first set of roses that it would be easier to take the hearts apart because they were too close together. Um, and then I'll reattach them later. So here I am doing the second uh, heart with a uh, pink, like a lighter pink. And then I did a uh, third heart with a very light color, almost white. And so I did kind of like an ombre effect for these three hearts. And then to reattach all of these hearts back together, I'm just gonna use some ribbon from Dollar Tree. I just cut it down and then hot glued it in between the hearts. And then I hot glued a little hanger at the top. I love how this looks. I hung it on my fireplace, on my mirror, and I think it looks really pretty and simple for Valentine's Day decor and it was super easy and super affordable to make this for Valentine's Day. This DIY, I'm gonna start with a piece of poster board, and then I'm just gonna fold that poster board in half, so that way it's long ways, and then I'm gonna cut straight down that line, so I have two pieces of poster board now. And then I'm gonna take one corner of the poster board, and then I'm gonna start rolling it into a cone shape. So if you start, rolling it and then you just kind of go in the opposite direction it kind of just forms a cone and then just put a little bit of hot glue as you are rolling it so that way it stays both of them weren't exactly the same size one was a little bit slimmer than the other one um, but they don't have to be completely equal and then once I got them into the cone shape I am going to cut the bottoms so that that way they sit evenly on the surface so I just kind of flatten them out and then just cut with my scissors until I got it even uh, that way it stood up um, and wasn't crooked to cover the cones, I picked up two packages of these rose petals from Dollar Tree. I picked up a package of pink and I picked up a package of white. They do have red also, which in hindsight, I think it would be really pretty if you did one big cone with uh, it going red to pink to white and doing kind of like an ombre effect. But that didn't come to my head until after I was already done with these cones. So anyways, if anybody tries that out, let me know. But I still think the way that I did it was really pretty. I started off with the pink on one of the cones and I just started off at the bottom hot gluing the petals down. And then as I worked my way up to the end of the cone, I just layered the petals as I went and then the uh, top layer I just placed kind of over that opening and then for the second cone I ended up deciding to cut that down a little bit shorter so that way I would have different heights for my cones um, and then I just took the white petals and did the same thing that I did with the uh, pink petals. Um, and then once I was done with that, I thought it needed a little bit of something extra. So I had these little heart picks from Dollar Tree and I just pulled the hearts off of the picks. And then I just took some hot glue and hot glued them down uh, to the petals around each one of these little Valentine's Day trees uh, to give it a little bit more of a Valentine's feel. 
I had two packs of the heart picks, one for each tree. The smaller tree, it was fine with the one pack, but the bigger tree, I would definitely recommend getting another pack for uh, just to fill it up and make it look a little bit more full. But I love how these turned out. I think they are super pretty. You could add a little topper of a heart or something else uh, to add a little bit extra to it, but these are super easy and super affordable. For this DIY, I'm going to use four of these wooden square boards from Dollar Tree. And then I just went ahead and stained mine with some stain I had lying around the house. You can make some stain with some tea or coffee, or you could paint these, whatever you would choose. Once the stain was dry, I am going to go ahead and put all of the boards together to make one big square. So I just hot glued the edges together. And then I came back with a staple gun and stapled in between the pieces so that way they would be secure and they, I would make sure that they would stay together. Next, I just took some pink acrylic paint that I had on hand and then all I had was this foam brush. So I very carefully freehanded a heart onto the wooden board and then painted the inside of the heart. I did a couple coats of paint uh, so that that way it would not show the wood stain through. Once the paint was all dry, I came back with some of this lace ribbon from Dollar Tree. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place a little dollop of hot glue at the top of the indent of the heart and place my ribbon on top of that. Then I'm going to fold over a little bit of that ribbon. And because that ribbon has holes in it, I didn't have to add any more hot glue for it to stay. So I'm doing a ruffled effect as I work my way around the heart heart. All I had to do was follow the edges of the heart and add a little bit of hot glue around those edges and then just keep ruffling the ribbon as I went down the heart. Once I got to the bottom of the heart on one side, I did go ahead and cut that ribbon and then I restarted on the top of the heart going down the other side so that that way it would hopefully line up well. And actually this worked out really good. Um, and then I didn't have to try to do the point at the bottom and wrap the ribbon uh, kind of funky and turn it a different way or anything like that. So I did that all the way to the bottom of the ribbon and then I kind of overlapped it and cut that off. And then I came back to the top and with the leftover ribbon, I only used one spool of this ribbon. And with the leftover, which was just a little bit, I just started at one side of the heart and the indent and then I kind of ruffled it and put a little hot glue down and then cut that off so it would just be a more even look than what it was before when I started because um, I didn't know how it was going to look. So I just folded that, put a little hot glue on and then just kind of folded that ribbon over just to finish it off nicely. And that was it. That's all I did to this. You could add a hanger. Uh, to this and hang this up wherever you would like. Um, I think this turned out so pretty and kind of shabby chic farmhouse look for Valentine's Day and I love that look for Valentine's Day. Um, you can use, like I said, any color you would like for the heart um, or any color you would like for the wood. I took this wooden love sign from Dollar Tree and I cut the hanger off of the back. They also have an XOXO wooden sign like this love one that would work just as well for this project. It's just whatever you want it to say. And then I took three packs of these foam roses from Dollar Tree. They have red, pink, and then this cream color. I use the cream color and I'm just gonna hot glue them around the lettering, making sure that I follow the curvature of of the cursive word and I hot glued the roses to the edges like as far out on the edges of the letters as possible so that that way it was still able to read love and then I turned the sign um, over so that that way I could hot glue a few roses on the top so that that way everything just looked a little more finished and that's all I did to this sign for a few dollars and a few minutes. I turned this sign into a more high-end look. I love how it turned out. It's so pretty for Valentine's Day, but you could also use it for wedding decor or anything like that. 
I'm going to use this glass square vase from Dollar Tree and I'm going to fill it up with some candy hearts that I got at the grocery store. Dollar Tree didn't have any, but you could replace it with some Valentine's Day candy from Dollar Tree if you wanted to. And then I took this round glass candle holder from Dollar Tree and just placed it on top. That way you can take it off at the end of the year and empty the candy out and it sits nicely with the little feet that's on the bottom of it. And then I'm going to go around the edge of the candle holder with these roses. I just hot glued them down and I use two packs of them they're the same foam roses from the last DIY and then that is it I just put a Bath and Body Works candle on top of it it holds it nicely and looks so pretty for Valentine's Day thank you guys so much for watching today I hope you enjoyed these Valentine's Day DIYs and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one take care bye bye